Are you maybe looking to dip your toes into crypto or have withdrawal pauses on assets and tightening restrictions by leading platforms like Celsius, Voyager, Zipmex, CoinDCX? Have these made you rethink your crypto exchange choice? If so, you gotta watch this video. Okay, we are all familiar right now with the choppy market conditions. There's a lot of volatility out there. Many crypto exchanges are running into liquidity issues and are pausing or in some cases limiting crypto withdrawals. And it's probably not gonna end anytime soon, unfortunately, because the fact is that the bear market may continue longer than expected. And that's why it's crucial to have your crypto assets on an exchange. But one that is safe, that has no liquidity issues, has no withdrawal limits, has hundreds of altcoins and trading pairs, offers interest earning opportunities, offers crypto cards, and is one of the first to list most of the crypto gems and is the number one exchange in the world. So just in case you haven't guessed it already, this is a step-by-step -step Binance guide on how to use the exchange with special attention that we're gonna to devote to some pro tips for the investors and traders out there in the crypto landscape. I'll walk you through how to set up your Binance account in the safest possible manner, then how to trade crypto using fiat, and then we'll take a look at some of the major Binance features, including some of the more advanced ones, if that's your cup of tea. I'm gonna also present to you an opportunity to earn $800 in bonus funds on Binance, plus 20% off on Binance trading fees, just by following some very simple steps. Let's start at the beginning with setting up an account. This is a relatively easy step, but we still have to make sure we're doing it in the safest possible manner. Okay, so you need to, number one, use your email address or your phone number. Number two, create a login and password. Number three, send in your documents for KYC, that's know your customer. And number four, you're gonna wanna set up 2FA, that's two-factor authentication to protect your account. Let's talk a little bit about KYC. Why is it that know your customer here is required? Well, we recommend it because on Binance, candidly, the limits are pretty low without KYC. And if you're a verified Binance user, then you can participate in opportunities like this where you can share 50,000 BUSD in rewards. So although it may not be 100% required, we highly recommend KYC if you're gonna be using Binance. And if you're interested in some of those bonuses I mentioned a moment ago, if you're in the market for a new account, use this link, check it out. Here's where you can sign up for that new account on Binance. We'll include this, of course, in the description below. Now, when it comes to the many great features of Binance, probably the most valuable for our purposes is going to be the spot market trading. And that's simply buying crypto on the exchange. It's pretty simple. And if you're asking yourself how to do it, well, we're going to walk you through that here in just a few simple steps. First of all, put money or make sure there is money in your spot wallet. This is the money available right away to purchase crypto. Now, by far the most popular stablecoin that's used here is USDT, but people also like to use Bitcoin and BUSD. If you have one of these, then there's an excellent chance you can buy really whatever you want that is available on Binance. And if you've transferred euros, maybe dollars, or even other crypto, you can do an easy transfer to trade into USDT. Okay, second step, you have two options here. Either click on trade, convert, and then just exchange your USDT for something, or you can go to the charts at trade and spot and put your order in there. Both are easy to do though. And number three, another option, even though there are different kinds of orders, really the easiest is the market order. And with a market order, you're buying at the current market price. You can do that and then you're done. Just like that, it's really as easy as it gets. And here now is a quick pro tip. While USDT is definitely the most popular choice as far as a trading pair, it might make sense to swap some for BUSD because BUSD, of course, is the Binance supported stablecoin. And some of the alts that you wanna buy could have a better price against BUSD. So you should definitely compare and potentially move between stablecoins using the convert feature for ease. Check out the rates. It may be advantageous to go this extra step. Let's talk about another great feature on Binance P2P trading, because if you're like most Binance users, and especially if you're trading in some of the emerging markets of the world, like Africa, Eastern Europe, maybe South America, then unfortunately you cannot send funds to the exchange. You can only send crypto to Binance, or you can exchange your local currency for crypto using Binance's P2P trading feature. And this is where this becomes ultra valuable because here you're buying directly from another person via bank transfer or some other of Binance's 150 approved payment methods. 
You can both buy or sell using the P2P feature, but you need to complete the KYC first and be sure that your name, phone number, email, or whatever identifying information you use, make sure it matches the info on the account you list as a payment method. You can also buy or sell any of these six coins. They include USDT, BTC, BNB, DAI, ETH, or BUSD. Some combinations also let you buy in Doge if uh, that's up your alley. And Binance also provides the escrow service. So if you pay, for example, and the other person doesn't release the coins, well, you can show your receipt to Binance and they're gonna release them. It's very good as far as protection for you, whether you're a buyer or a seller. And on screen now, you see us using the P2P feature. First, we make sure the funding wallet has money in it, and that's the wallet that you're using for P2P services, of course. But look, don't worry, because internal transfers like this from your spot wallet to your funding wallet are instant and they're free. Next, we pick what we want to sell. In this case, we have USDT to sell for Colombian pesos. And by the way, for you expats out there or digital nomads, Binance is a great way to help manage your money and move in between different currencies and countries really whenever you want. There's no expensive bank fees. There's nobody censoring your transactions because they don't approve of where you're living. None of those headaches. Okay, so now that we know we're selling USDT for Colombian pesos, we have to pick a vendor and we have a full deep dive on P2P trading coming up. But one thing that we can tell you here is to look for high completion percentage and a short enough payment window so you aren't kept waiting too long. Press sell USDT and you've made your first P2P order to sell. The buyer will then complete the order, or they won't, but if they do, hopefully, they're gonna release the coins, and if not, then just try someone else. Pro tip from us here when it comes to P2P trading, don't play around with this. If you get paid, release the coins. A delay and complaint to Binance can mean that you can no longer use this very important feature. So don't let that happen to you, it's not worth it. All right, another great feature of the Binance Exchange is their futures trading platform, which is really a market leader in crypto. Now, some of the trades that we present from our technical analysis team from Altcoin Buzz members, these are trades where you have to use the futures market. And it's good to know how to use it. It's not 100% mandatory, but it's a good to know kind of thing. Use it as a hedge, perhaps, on your investments. And the great news is that Binance offers two types, USD and coin futures. And the difference here is settlement, because with USD futures, you put up USDT or BUSD as collateral for the contract, whereas with coin futures, you put up ETH or BTC for the collateral of the contract. And with USD settled futures, there are at least seven contracts available, including XRP and EOS. Then within USD and coin futures, we have two types each, both delivery and perpetual. Now, delivery means there is a delivery date. Here on this screen, you can see that this Bitcoin quarterly futures contract delivers in September in 48 days. Perpetual means there's no delivery date and you can hold that contract as long as you want. And when a contract has a delivery date like this one in September, no matter how profitable it is or not, but hopefully it is profitable, you must cash out in September. And if you wanna keep your position, you have to sell September and buy the next contract for December. Right now, this contract is selling at a slight premium of about $150 versus the spot price of Bitcoin. Now that's less than a 1% difference, too small for most traders to really get excited about, or to execute what's known as the carry trade. This is where you go long spot and short the futures market to try to lock in a gain. The Bitcoin quarterly coin futures that settles in Bitcoin is trading even narrower at less than $100. Binance even requires that you pass a short quiz to ensure that you have at least some idea of what you're doing here before trading in this particular market. Now, a little bit of a cautionary note here for our next pro tip, but we do not recommend any kind of futures trading for beginners. Even for more experienced traders, really using leverage can be very dicey and very dangerous. We kind of actually recommend avoiding it altogether. And do not be too greedy. You don't want to get wiped out. Remember that you can win over $800 in bonus assets on Binance when you sign up with Altcoin Buzz's exclusive link. So this all includes 20% of lifetime trading fee discounts, $100 when you deposit $50 or more, plus $200, the equivalent of two months of free access to Altcoin Buzz Pro as a member, and $500 in other unlockables. Right now, this offer is valid for US traders as well. If you don't already have an account, this is a no-brainer. Check out the link in the description below. And finally, now we come to Binance Staking, aka Binance Earn, where you have a few options on earning some extra money on your coins through staking, savings, or liquidity farming. 
Now, the easiest plan of all is to stake the native BNB coin in their vault in order to earn interest. Rates are low, under 1%, but you do get paid in BNB. And with Binance Earn, you have locked staking for a given period of time, or if you prefer, flexible staking. And of course, with flexible staking, you have the option of removing your coins at any time. And you pay for that flexibility, of course, because it means you're earning a little bit less. There are some amazing rates in here though, including 10% on USDT in flexible savings, 20% on Avalanche for 90 days locked, 12.99% on BNB for 120 days locked. And like for P2P trading, you have to move funds from your spot wallet to your earn wallet so you can invest them in these programs. But again, that internal transfer is fast, really instantaneous and free. And look, there are lots and lots of options with Earn, but we would recommend that you keep it simple. Number one, stake coins you already intend to hold long-term. Number two, move from spot to Earn wallet. And number three, click stake or subscribe and get started staking. And as a final pro tip when it comes to investing really in any market, crypto or otherwise, just remember KISS. Simple solutions are the best, are gonna provide you with the fewest headaches and will generally come to fruition in the long term. All right, so that's our look at the Binance Exchange, a familiar favorite. We took you through four of the most important services that they offer, spot trading, P2P trading, futures trading, and of course, staking. And we showed you how to get started in each after setting up your account on Binance. Again, if you wanna add some more dry powder to your account, you have a chance to win $800 in bonuses on Binance when you sign up with Altcoin Buzz using our exclusive link in the description below. And I'm happy to say that the offer is valid for American traders as well. As a friendly reminder, whether we're talking about exchanges or altcoins specifically, just keep in mind that this is a volatile space, as you know, and there is a corresponding risk, especially in cryptocurrency. So this video is meant to be informative in nature, but do not take it to be official financial or investment advice. It is not. Best of luck if you choose to invest, although never official financial or investment advice because we ourselves are not professionals in that capacity, but best of luck if you do choose to invest. If you're still watching the video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell to receive notifications. Check out these other couple of videos popping up here to my left, over here to my right. Stay safe out there, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army. And as always, we do up to you again soon in our next video. Take care.